I think governments can't do much. Number of people have said to me, after hearing your thinking, their mind becomes much more happier. As long as I am alive, I am fully committed to amity between Tibetans and Chinese. Otherwise there is no use. If some people have the belief or view that the Dalai Lama has some miracle power, that's totally nonsense. I am just one human being. Chinese people themselves, they really want change. Some mischievous people always there. Last several thousand years, always there. In future, also. There are techniques of Buddhism, such as meditation that anyone can adopt. If some people have the belief or view that the Dalai Lama has some miracle power, that's totally nonsense. If you have a particular faith or a religion, that is good but you can survive without it. I think really, China, Chinese, I think they really have a long history of civilization, rich culture. The Tibetan people will need to determine who the next reincarnation of the Dalai Lama is. If I had remained in Lhasa, even without the Chinese occupation, I would probably have carried the ceremonial role in some orthodox way. I am confident I will set foot again in Tibet in my lifetime. I never dreamed, in my dream, I'm Dalai Lama. Out of six billion humans, the troublemakers are just a handful. Logically, Harmony must come from the heart. Harmony very much based on trust. As soon as use force, creates fear. Fear and trust cannot go together. Today different ethnic groups and different nations come together due to common sense. I always believe the rule by king or official leader is outdated. Now we must catch up with the modern world. One thing I want to make clear, as far as my own rebirth is concerned, the final authority is myself and no one else, and obviously not China's communists. In most cases, my visits to the West are for promotion of human values and religious harmony.